How do you do, you most amazing person? I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day and that you're excited to be back with the Serpent Challenge and Transport Fever 2 today. We got some plans as we're moving out of the freshly minted depot of all depots. The one to rule them all, because we're only going to have one. Uh, that's basically it. So um, while we're down here in uh, in uh, the new minted depot, new founded, new built, newly, uh, freshly off the, yeah, I think we got the point at this point. So um, what I wanted to do today is uh, we, we got the main line up to here. We got the glassworks stopping off right there. And I want to continue that line onwards, quite simply. Uh, if we can hook the lines here up here, then continue that onwards around the corner here and uh, probably end it somewhere around here, maybe even pull it as far as the fodder uh, livestock farm, which requires fodder in order to make a lot of other uh, good stuff like uh, animals and milk and uh, something. Wool, apparently, because you make uh, wool from, from cows, as everyone knows. Um, and the reason for that is we already got fodder, which we could ship down here pretty easily. Uh, it's hooked up to the main line. No worries, no worries. Uh, we also got the uh, copper mill, and we are fairly close to the copper, so I figured, you know what, we could fling some trains up that way as well if we were uh, so inclined. Um, actually, the copper is our, our first goal for the day. So, um, yeah, I think uh, I think we got the plan down. Let's uh, go ahead and build. Shall we? Do you want to, do you really want to just tunnel it through there? You think that's, um, that's not going to, it's not going to be too exciting though, is it? Uh, short answer is no, and uh, also a short answer for the catenary is also no. Thank you, though. Appreciate the thought, but um, I don't want it. All right, what if I were to come around just a, just a little bit, at least? All right, so like that, bring this alongside here. Can I, can I like, if I did that now, what kind of uh, tunnelage would we look at? Oh, a little bridge. All right, all right. No, I like that. Come back. Come back. The tunnel is quite All right, but you can you can adjust that. Uh, the tunnel is quite close to the uh, to the station there, and I want the four tracks to hook up sooner rather than later. Well, but glass isn't going this way, so you might not need to do that, you know, buddy boy. This is true. This is true. All right? Uh, do we want some? Ooh, I'm liking that. Does it have pillars? Can I see if it has pillars? It does not. Um, I'll put it in and I'll see if I can find some pillars in uh, the 1 million mods I've installed on this uh, save, save game. If there's not a pillar or something that can function as a pillar that would look sexy for this, then I have done bad in installing the mods I have. Because I have them all, it feels like, at this point. So uh, let's um, brush size down, down that down a little bit. As you just concluded, <laughs> you smarty pants, you just, you just agreed with yourself. You're not going to, these tracks are not continuing. Those have, have reached the end point. There's no reason to hook it up on this side. Is there? No, there's not. Zero. None. Nada. All right. Good talk then. <laughs> Say that again. Let's uh, get those along. Let's uh, figure out how we can... Uh, Keep this at a high speed. You're being too, too pessimistic there, buddy. Again, really? Is that max? 97? You sure we can't do better than that? I, I think I see 120 there. Well, 101. All right, I'll take it before it starts um, complaining too much about my uh, jiggery pokery. And also that's, that's a lot of quadruple track in order to get back onto the main line. But uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's, ah, come here, you. There you go. Um, how do we want to tackle this corner here? Because there's a couple different options, right? We could go on the outside here. Um, that's straight uh, here, basically. Or alternative, which I think I'm more fond of. Inside here, right? Inside there, yeah. Inside there, yeah. And uh, onwards we go. I think that is, that's the golden ticket right there. So what I think I want to do, you don't know what altitude you're at, buddy. Uh, 
we we can change the altitude before we get there you know chief meister uh and you probably want the other track just saying right probably right about that there we go i think that will look majestic coming out of the of the tunnel there obviously not leaving well we could we could rip it off from the main line there if we were so inclined all right very well seems like you got a plan for this one could almost think right can i interest you in uh being fairly flat here so that would be uh, that would be jolly nice if you were and then i want you to pull along a little bit further we want might want the other one the other track like that yeah and then we need to find a way for you to maybe that was a little little bit too far there all right i i i accept that i went too far all right if my uh, better half ever heard that, I would never hear the end of it. Or at least that's what I'm going for, or going with. Uh, you probably would, but um, yeah. Why are, you, why are you fighting me like this? Come through, figure it out. See, that's much better. Why didn't you do that from the, from the get-go? Question is, if we were to pull this ahead just a little bit, because I don't want as big of a tunnel, right? And switch that to that. All right, I'll 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 fix it. I promise. All right. Mm, maybe ahead a little bit further, actually. And uh, make the mountain disappear. Thank you very much. Now find find that beautiful. And uh, except you probably want some. Some more uh, majestic looking tunnel entrances, I think. Since you already got all the mods, you did it again. <laughs> ah, all right, there we go. Much better. Yes, thank you. Good job, buddy. Good job. There we are. And uh, the other one up to there. Beautiful, huh? Only took a billion different or a billion attempts to get there, but we got there in the end. And that's all that matters, right? Something's telling me that that's not gonna play ball much. Let's see if we, if I were to do this, right? I think maybe we can make it play a little bit more ball. First, give it a little smudge in. Increase the brush size ever so slightly and you didn't do anything worth a damn, my buddy. Not a thing. Ah, see, now we're talking. Yeah, mm, much better. Anyways, uh, you just gonna leave this side? <laughs> I was gonna, but uh, since I uh, apparently not gonna anymore, then uh, you know what? That's gone. And then uh, just, uh, yeah, that's almost gonna work. Well, I, I want you to pop up a little bit. There you go. All right, so we don't see like the, the back end of the tunnel entrance. I feel like that's a uh, subpar, shall we say. All right, for over here though, I think the main line will continue onwards on the inside here, but I think we want the station. Uh, where is copper needed and where is coal? Coal I think is up here, it is. Oh, another opportunity for cash money in the bank, which uh, which I'm most fond of. Right, copper is needed down here, so we need that to be a, a railroad station, not a, a terminus station, which is uh, absolutely not a problem. This road, however, that is a problem, but not anymore, obviously. Got that covered. Uh, we'll make it a uh, maximum length. Do we want two tracks, or do we maybe want to go with three? How about you go with two for now, and then you can upgrade it if you uh, so desire at a later date. Eh. Three seems seems very nice. We don't have any three platform stations, do we? I'm not sure we do. All right, we'll put uh, we'll put in a three a three uh, platform station here. I think uh, not because we necessarily need it, uh, especially not anytime soon. But um, yeah, nice to have one of those. What what do we go for? Is that pavement? Maybe might be pavement. Uh, concrete, gravel. Paved. That's the one. 
and this is uh this is the 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 visible one hidden yeah all right so that's uh if the other one is hidden i'm guessing this one is the uh non-hidden is that a fair assumption i'm guessing it is make no promises though there we are how how far is this station there we go half a kilometer that's that that's a relatively beefy station that's i would i would dare say now since you're lazy you might as well put some uh some buildings close to the uh action point are we are we all right we're apparently building it out a little bit gotcha okay but now you can't get away with the laziness now you gotta now you gotta road this up you know they didn't before same there we are uh is that the connection you want to that road probably not we'll do that And uh, we can just hook that up like so. That's fine, I think. Right. And uh, since you've uh, since you've been detailing out your uh, luscious plans for uh, for the, uh, do we have something like pave? No, we don't. <laughs> All right, gravel it is. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Uh, uh, what what else is it called? Asphalt. As. It's, it's the same word in Norwegian, and yet I had to ask. All right, just paint that in, right? Like so, maybe a bit like this. You know, since you're already on the detailing train, might as well uh, at least paint the track or paint the ground. I suppose it would probably be painted all the way. All right, paint, yeah, well, <laughs> as if you paint. You you paint, uh, for those who didn't know, you uh, absolutely 100% paint um, asphalt down. Right, uh, you did not get here with the um, with this line though. So let's let's go ahead and just um, it's a bit of a inconvenient angle coming out. I do that and uh, continue onwards at a flat angle would be nice. Flat, yeah. No, I I now want the out. Yeah, that's the one. A little less uh, of a turn towards the river since we're headed towards the mountains would obviously be uh, much appreciated. Where are we in terms of the industries? All right, so we are we just curving in here? Maybe I think we are. Not because uh, that's where we ended up, mind you. That's uh, because this was planned a long time ago, before you and I was ever born. Born uh, in the nineteen. Uh, 21 apparently there we go so come come uh eh. would you come out there as well you would all right i'll take it and uh like so beautiful ah oh, it, it even continued above ground that's uh that's the first when it didn't have to beautiful all right we'll just uh fling that around the corner like so that's what we're going to do with the main line for now and uh, as for this we're just going to use the outside tracks. Well, well, the copper train would need to get here somehow. But we'll, we'll plan with the outer tracks, I think. And then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and just fling the uh, the last track here. The third track. Platform 3 will just be uh, flung onto this somewhere. All right. We'll pull it there and then uh, slip it across. Uh, cross. There we go. Doesn't have to be too too fast. It's only going to be used uh, when we um, get the trains here, essentially. That's 120 all the way, but you grab the wrong flipping track once again. And this one doesn't want to snap for some reason, because that would have been too obvious, right? All right, like that. Uh, we'll actually go ahead and pull that part out and find somewhere we can... Uh, Should have done this in the opposite order, obviously. Have you have you tried this game before, buddy? By any chance? Any chance at all? all right, pull it to there uh, and just uh, figure this out somehow. Ah, ah, found it. Found it. There we go. Beautiful. 
And that gives us uh, um, storage space for trains wanting to get into the station as well, which is absolutely beautiful, obviously. And uh, I suppose the diamond here, if that's going to, that's, that's not going <laughs> to. It worked. Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? It actually worked. All right, beautiful. Up to the mountains we go. Now, this will... Is it, is it actually flat up here? <laughs> All right. See, my plan was originally uh, today to... Um, yeah, use this use this station and you just move the building. There you go. I, my plan today was actually to connect up the uh, bauxite mine to the... Um, Aluminium, which happens to be there, uh, because that way we would uh, finish off the, then uh, we'd have all the resources for one of the final um, products, which is the modern construction material uh, factory. <laughs> That's a mouthful of a name. But uh, you were up here now, buddy. <laughs> but ah, I made it three. I'm gonna delete it and build it again because it, it's. It's a little bit of a hassle putting down uh, and removing segments of the uh, of the station, if I may say so myself. There we go. Um, but yeah, the, the putting in of the the station up by the uh, bauxite mine is just a horror show. I I already dread having to to do that. I'll I'll show you real quick, since we're already moving about all so much. Look at this monstrosity of a hilliness right i mean ugh. i tried putting it in like hovering over and i was like all right let this this needs an episode of zone we can't pull the main line five kilometers first uh probably more than five but yeah all right enough about that <laughs> let's uh try and find a way to get down from here at a reasonable uh pace We'll do that, and we'll pull you alongside. We'll need a... Uh, this would actually not need to be double platformed. But you've done it now, buddy. So we're keeping it. Because, um... Oh, okay. All right. Well, it's not It's not like it's not leaping off the ground. So uh, I might not be uh, opposed to this idea. If it could find ground somewhere. That would find ground. You would get another relatively ugly looking uh, monstrosity of a bridge on this side, though. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. What if you pulled it to this side? There's nothing to connect to here as far as grounds go. All right. Where, how. F That's quite the angle you got, but um, it would work. That it would. Putting in the uh, putting in a bridge there, really? I think maybe we are. It's not horror. It's not a horror show. All right, we'll we'll go with it. I think. We'll at least try it, and if it's uh, if it's gonna be horrible, we'll uh, come back and and redo it. Now that's not not as bad as I was what it was fearing this point not at all all right let's um i'm sold not because it's the easy option <laughs> no it's that too i suppose but uh, eh, could could have um hmm. could go alongside the mountain uh, past there just a little bit longer in order to make this work Let, let's see let's let's just before we connect up the other uh half of this right uh you would need it we got we got enough money now to uh to test this theory out or this uh approach out let's uh let's just you know see that would look so much better i think you've made a mistake here own up to it and redo it all right fair enough fair enough uh there's the other one and uh like that. Now, see this. This is uh, well. I mean, a little bit of a little bit of uh, mountain is is fine, right? 
a little cheeky tunnel at the end. Yeah, I, I could dig that. Yeah, I'm on it. I, I'll take it. I'm very happy with that. Uh, you connected up the wrong track to the right, wrong side of the... Uh, Tagmeister, really, buddy? Uh, I don't, I don't see any good solution for that other than uh, pulling out the track and redoing it. So that's for what we'll do. Uh, but of course the track will now fight me. There you go. Did not like that. All right, pull it back a little bit. Find the uh, connection point. And voila, now it works. Beautiful. Okay, now that obviously needs some signals. Uh, the uh, main line needs some signals as well. I'll go, I'll go ahead and, and signal this up, I think, and, uh, and bring you guys back. And there we go. Magic. We now have signals all the way over to the um, to the copper mill, uh, both the mainline and the uh, and the branch, which is nice. Uh, other than that, we because I'm I'm not gonna wait for this train to go all the way down to the copper mill and then back up to the copper mine before uh, seeing uh, seeing the results, the fruit of my labor. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put in a uh, cheeky little uh, branch off like that, I think. Doesn't need to be... You had it. It was perfect. It was exactly what you wanted. Uh, apparently the game game likes me today. What do you know? All right, uh, signal. Put in uh, a few signals here as well. And apparently I uh, was not aware of this until uh, <laughs> until now, but we're... we're we are experimenting with new types of signals, which is uh, which is jolly awesome. Now, we put in the track. Time to get our trains moving. Um, could I could I zoom in and still get? Thank you. All right, what kind of uh, what kind of beauty should we send on this line? I ask. I'm not gonna get any responses before I decide, of course, but um, it's gonna be the Mikado. Why? Because um, the Atlantic isn't powerful enough, and I like the Mikado and Atlantic. So, um, East Pickens. All right, so it's going to be uh, the Gondolas, obviously, because that's the only, only... Well, hello! But isn't that... That looks extremely small to have the same capacity as, uh, as the, um, the, the other Gondolas, doesn't it? But it's got a, it's got more speed to it, and I'm loving the speed, so um, we're not going with it. <laughs> uh, ask us this one, less capacity. Where do I see the length of these? Because this this thing looks tiny, right? Might not be tiny. Let's let's see. Uh, added six meters. All right, that's ten ten capacity. Very well. You got twelve. You got twelve. You got eight. Eight adds. Uh, same amount, all right, and uh, 12 adds uh, a little bit more, two more meters. We're going with these, all right, if uh, the other one just doesn't look proportional, it might just be the uh, the image though. Let, let's fling one at the end, uh, just to just to make sure that we um, we got our, our stuff uh, on the uh, above board, let's call it. Let's see, uh, 21 kilometers in 118 seconds, or 387 meters in a uh, strong uphill battle. I think we need more than that. Uh, 19 kilometers in 4 minutes, that's more like it. And that's 450 capacity as well. I want to fling this at the end so that I'm, I'm jolly aware of where it's situated in the, in the pack. 25 mil, uh, we're definitely going to need 2. Yeah, we're gonna go with two for now. Might upgrade that later to uh, to a third train, I think. But for now, we'll go ahead and just do the two. There you go. Did you uh, did you also figure out? Yeah, you're well. You're doing the wrong platform here. Do platform one, shall we? It's a good good platform for any train to uh, to visit. It's absolutely recommended, and it's uh, it's doing this thing up there as well. Did it do its thing on the main line? Have I have I have I really done everything right? At the first uh, at the first attempt. Holy smokes! 
<laughs> All right. The first for everything, as they say. Let's see what this view looks like. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And the little... Uh... Look at him, huh? He's like, ah, I wish my locomotive would move. Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be so nice. What train is here? Oh, it's the second one. Oh, that's that's a bit of a downer. If they're gonna if they're gonna stack like that, I, yeah, not a fan, not a fan. Just just putting it out there, you know. Excellent. Now where's the uh, last wagon? Ooh, this is a long train. This one, proper long. Ah, look at that. Ah, something about those long, long, long trains that just go on forever. And ever and ever, apparently. Holy smokes, this is a big train. All right. Yeah, see? Uh, eh, I'm not buying that that has two less capacity, two tons less than this one. Doesn't feel right. Does not sit right with me, at least. So, uh, holy shit. Is, is all our Mikados this long? Can't possibly be. Details. Let's have a look at the length of it. 470 meters. I think that might be longer than our platforms. Did you go overboard? No, it's 480. All right, we're we're good. We're good. It's all good. Is, <laughs> can the Mikado even go up, get up the hill? Ah, excitements to be uh, to be seen. I suppose let's let's uh, roll time forward till we have the battle to the uphill battle to contend with. All right, we're currently snaking our way up the big, 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 big. Big mountain. This was a beautiful view, wasn't it? <laughs> Talk about timing. Where are we? Uh... Alright, uh, X is it? Yeah, it is. Beautiful. And we're down in front of the train. Not the best uh, place to put yourself if uh, a big train is coming, but um, yeah. Words of wisdom by CAG. Don't stand in front of a moving train. Right. So we're we're uh, jolly jolly fighting our way up to the copper uh, mine. The Mikado is currently sporting a, a rather feisty twenty kilometers an hour. Just hoping it won't get replaced by a more powerful diesel or the big boy. Can you imagine the big boy going up here? Mm. One day, one day, we'll fling some big boys down the line. That line. The main line down there. Can you see it? I can see it. You might not be able to. It depends on your monitor, I suppose. But yeah, we're coming up on the um, on our first leg of the journey, which is um, Copper Mill. Almost got a full load waiting already. That's the benefit of spending uh, nine months in an uphill battle, <laughs> I suppose. And we don't have the storage uh, warning uh, sign yet, which is beautiful. First one's going to be full. The second one coming out here is full might be stretching it, but I don't think it will uh, struggle all that much. Well, we're, at, we're already peaking at production, so we need a, we need a level level up, obviously. But here we go. All right. I, uh, I'll uh, once again snap my fingers because we're about to rock it up uh, with a full load. That's not the train we're looking at. We're looking at this train. Uh, rocketing up with a full load of copper at the moment. And uh, I'm excited to see how much we can make from this uh, unforgivingly long train, which is actually holding 80 kilometers an hour on the flat. So um, I think there's hope. It's not carrying any goods up the hill, which is beautiful uh, or ideal uh, with, with such a long and heavy train. Uh, and um, it's only the one hill really that we got to contend with. But that hill is brutal. So, you know, he wins some, he takes some 14 and a half mil. That's a nice number, isn't it? Because this, this train is definitely going to be making some money. Definitely. No doubt. Not a single one. Takes half an age to unload, but that's just, uh, that's just part of the game you play when you play in the 14 and a half mil league in, uh, on the Serpent Challenge, I think. At least in, in 1921. Uh, Apparently we're paused. I think uh, we should rock it forward a little bit if we ever are going to hit the diesel age. But that is wrapping it up for today. So I think 
We'll grab some gl glory shots of, uh, are you kidding? Have I recorded this whole time with, with the camera on? <laughs> well, that's my monitor. This, this, this is where I play. Yeah. That's that one. And this is where I work, uh, when I, uh, when I work. So, um, which is every day or every weekday. So, um, yeah, now, you know, the whole, the, <laughs> are you joking me? Oh, uh, this is. All right, let's see if we can can manage to show my face as well without uh, actually showing off the clutter. This is obviously game monitor. Yeah, mm, beautiful. And uh, this is my face. Hello. Awesome. Recently bought. Uh, oh, you can't see it, and the cord isn't long enough for me to stretch it out much. Maybe you can see it right there. That's the Lego typewriter. I've been watching. Um, Lego Masters, since we're already doing the outro, apparently. I've been watching Lego, Lego Masters lately uh, in all sorts of various different languages. Uh, English and Norwegian, um, Australian, because that's that's its own beast of a language. Really exciting. Really enjoyed it. So I ended up buying myself some Lego because um, it's just I just got bitten. So I bought myself a, a typewriter uh, Lego and uh, realizing that, sure, it's it's quite quite comfortable or, or quite cozy uh sitting down with a lego and and building it in like three four or five days which is nice and all but um at the same time um i like the, the part about lego masters if you watched it if you haven't you should watch it if you ever played with lego as a kid but um but the thing about it is i i want to try and, and create stuff out of nothing which means I just gotta buy a bunch of sets and then try and put something together or something. I don't know, but um, might be some. I, I haven't looked at the into this uh thoroughly as yet because I figured I'll buy the typewriter. It's it's a piece that can be just sitting there on the shelf if nothing else. And uh, <laughs> now I'm looking at the. I I I can at least do this right <laughs> as it enters this the, the tunnel. Well, this this. This recording is turning into disaster, apparently. But yeah, we can at least watch the train. Maybe we should even get on board the train as I as I blub on about Lego. Yeah, I figured I could I could buy the uh, the typewriter because it's a it's a, a Lego piece you can have standing around and uh, be a d decor of the household as well as um, something fun to do. Made it uh, along with my uh, my son who's three years old. I was. Two Super surprised at his skill with it, um, or, or his ability to, to get it together, and to put put pieces together. I struggled. He was just like, yeah. So um, yeah, that was a long story about why I got a Lego set, I suppose. Which uh, I'm not regretting for a second. I'm gonna go out and buy some more Lego. But um, you can't buy pe you can't buy uh, you can't buy typewriters all the time because they were more expensive than I'd like to admit. Or at least for a, do you think this could be fun again type of endeavor? Then it was a little bit too expensive. But as a, um, this is enjoyable type of hobby, not so much. But uh, now I do YouTube again as well. And that's not cheap either because I keep playing stuff and uh, not really using it. Uh, so, um, yeah. But I think that's about enough of me rambling on. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to fling a massive like in it. Even though we had the uh, the screens being recorded uh, all along, and, um, and uh, this is rather a weird outro, but I figured, all right, let's grab the moment, I suppose. Um, if you got any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, um, if you, I've, I've been thinking about getting the since we're already rambling, I've been thinking about getting the the crocodile as well. I think it's the crocodile. It's like a Lego uh, electric train. We're gonna buy a nice piece as well. Kind of showcasing some of the uh, the transfer pureness of uh, of my uh, heart and soul, I suppose. I think that might be nice. I haven't decided yet. Better half wants flowers. Oh, flower was was and uh, which one was it? Uh, something something bird, I think, or the bonsai tree. That's what she wants me to get, but uh, I don't want to get that. I want to get the train or the stormtrooper. Or there's so many awesome, awesome looking Lego pieces. I wasn't actually planning on talking about Lego at all, but um, 
yeah, here we are. <laughs> yeah, so um, if if you want to see me put them together, I suppose as a speed build kind of kind of deal, let me know in the comment section. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, can make that happen. And if you got any thoughts, comments, or suggestions other than that, uh, if you're just um, tired of hearing my rambling, uh, let me know in the comment section. And uh, if you're new around here, haven't done so already, might as well subscribe. Weird stuff like this happens all the time. That's unplanned and uh, horribly executed. You know, with the camera and all. But uh, yeah, that's enough for me for now. I have an average. You've been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for joining. And thank you so much for sticking by this. Even though the camera was setting up uh, filming the roof. And this, the two of the monitors I got here. I got, I got four. I'm, I'm a big boy now. I got four monitors on my desk. And I got one sitting on the floor back there as well. But yeah, I'm living the life apparently. Um, yeah, I, two of them, two of them belong to work, so um, it's not as awesome. But free screen. I had seven at work before, so um, you know they say once you go two, you'll never go back to one. Once you go three, you'll never get back to two. I I feel like I've made compromises. I've returned to four screens. So yeah. First world problem. First world problems, I suppose. Anyways, I'll try try once again. Thank you so much for watching. I've been average. You've been absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Till then, cheerio.